Hi guys, look what arrived today from PCBWay.com, your supplier for prototype PCBs. A nice pen, but we want other stuff, more important stuff. For example, my new Nano Arduino 2.4 GHz S-Bus receiver. This board is already populated. It also includes non-populated boards. Why? I don't know. Maybe they made a mistake. Now let's have a look inside the anti-static bag. The antenna module will connect to the back side. On the top side we have some passives and an Atmega 3 through 8, as well as an oscillator. These flaps are for production reasons and will be removed later on. On my GitHub you can find this PDF. It shows you step by step how to order populated PCBs on PCBWay.com. It is very important that you provide a bill of material and the centroid file as well. No, I don't have a full step by step assembling video. Basically you just have to solder G3 pin connector and on the back side the antenna module. Focus, please. This is the result. As you can see, I had to solder a little watch wire because of a missing track in my design. On the back side, you can see the soldered NRF24L01 radio model. Here you can see the watch wire a little bit better. I also had to remove this pad on the back side, otherwise it would short out with the antenna module. Here I'm preparing the required ICSP programming cable. The receiver is now ready for uploading the code. The required code can be found on my GitHub. It's exactly the same as for my micro RC receiver. Just make sure in the configuration that SBUS is enabled. Here I'm burning the bootloader and uploading the code. It worked without an error. So it was time to solder the antenna module. It's held in place by this resistor. Here I'm doing first tests with my ESP32 RC sound and light controller. This is a little size comparison. On the top right you can see the classic micro RC receiver and on the bottom left a Flysky FSA8S SBUS receiver. This is the comparison with the Arduino Pro Mini, which also uses an 80 Mega 328. And here it is together with the through hole version of the sound controller. Again, a little comparison video. The new receiver, the Flysky SBUS receiver, which has the same size, the classic Flysky, and the classic Micro RC receiver. Now it's time to connect it to the SMD version of the ESP32 sound controller and to do some tests. This remote is Arduino based as well.
So what's the conclusion? In order to improve the radio range I will have to remove the ground plane in this area. To eliminate the need for this porch wire I will also have to change the layout slightly. As soon as these issues are fixed, the PCB data will be available for download on my GitHub. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you don't miss upcoming updates. Bye!